Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is a highly requested video. Um, also ignore this, I'm going to explain in a minute. I'm actually doing my updated makeup routine because like my makeup's changed so much even since the last time I filmed this video which was only like a few months ago. So I thought we could have like a little chatty video while I do my makeup. Um, I didn't actually ask for any questions. I feel like I can just talk for England so... I was just kind of just gonna talk and then see and then worst comes to worst if I run out of things to say which I highly doubt it um, I'll put something on my Instagram but the reason I look like this is because I'm getting ready I've also been doing these new little flicks in my hair like it's just so it's not dead straight like it doesn't really it doesn't do much so not much of a difference but I just flick it at the end just to add something to my hair and that's why i've got my rollers in because i'm actually going to school today but today's timetable is actually really good because it's i only have one lesson today and it's at the end of the day so it means that i can have a lay in and film a video and so i was like i'm gonna get ready for school and i'm gonna do my makeup that's for school so it's actually not even my it's like my college makeup also really handy because it only takes me like 10 or 15 minutes in the morning so it doesn't mean i had to wake up earlier than i would normally have so it's actually quite good i actually can't take myself seriously with the fact that i had these on my head i might take them out now i've had them in for a pretty long time so i'm gonna take them out oh no it's got stuck to my other hair it always does this it's because I need the bigger ones, but they didn't have any in the shops when I went. Oh my gosh, I know I've just come out of a bush. It always does this. My hair always gets really knotty from where it got tangled. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, oh well. I feel like when I brush it out and just go like this a bit, it, it normally just falls into place. You guys always ask me about my jewellery, and um, I've actually picked up some new pieces that I've been wearing recently. So this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Pandora, so thank you so much. Pandora have actually relaunched their Pandora Me collection. As we all know, I like only used to wear gold jewellery. And it's because I could never ever find like nice silver or rose gold jewellery. But Pandora have done so well with creating literally the perfect pieces of rose gold and silver jewellery. Um, which are so unique. You can literally change up each piece in so many different ways to make it like unique to you. You can literally turn the jewellery into like, your own style. And it can also complete like the whole look with like all these different links you can use. And what I love most about this collection is each piece has a meaningful symbol which can like link to you. Because as you always know if you've watched like any of my birthday videos or Christmas videos. Um, I'm such like a, I absolutely love jewellery. It's one of my favourite gifts to receive because I feel like it's so personal and it's actually like very meaningful. So this collection is actually perfect for that. I'll show you the bracelet I'm wearing. It's so, so cute. So it's these pearls, which again is like a piece of jewellery that I always wear. And then these are the links that I've chosen that have different little charms on them, like symbols. So this one is a banana, which doesn't have much link to me, but I just really like it. But this one is this one's a smiley face which i'm trying to turn it round there we go which at the moment i don't know what it is but i'm obsessed with smiley faces like there's these nails i want to get that have smiley faces on them my keys have smiley faces on them i don't know what it is about them because it's not like they actually mean something to me but i just think they're really really cute so this whole collection is sterling silver so it's amazing quality and it also has various like different metal tones and you can get like words letters symbols anything to add onto your jewelry so again obviously i showed you the bracelet but i also have these rings and then i've also got this really cute necklace these three ones here i just have that like, the diamonds on them and then i've also got these earrings which are genuinely the easiest earrings i've ever put on because i've always worn like the hugging hoop ones like ones like these but they're so hard to put on because you have to like match the front to the back but these ones are literally you just put it in and push the things together and that's it like it's so easy this collection is like so perfect for a gift or like a gift for yourself because you can literally like customize it to make it like so unique and special to you um so there's a link in the description below. Go buy some and get all the different links to like match it to you. And again, Christmas coming up, literally the perfect present. Okay, so I just wet my beauty blender. All my everyday makeup I actually keep in my drawer instead of all my Alex drawers because in the morning when I'm in a rush, I don't have to go looking for everything that I use. It's just all in this little pot. And I do the same with my brushes as well. I just keep them in a little case so I don't have to go rummaging around trying to find brushes i use if my hair looks a bit more gray to be fair it's actually gone down a bit but yesterday i made the 
most stupidest mistake. Oh no, not yesterday, the day before. I put purple shampoo in my hair, like, and I always leave it in um, before I get in the shower. Because I feel like it works better than just using it as normal shampoo. And I accidentally, basically, what I always do is I put a, put the purple shampoo in, and then I normally have a face mask on, and then I just leave, I just leave it on. Also, this is the Bobbi Brown um primer slash moisturizer and it's the best thing i've ever used um it's so moisturizing and your makeup goes nicely on um as i was saying i had a face mask on and i actually put loads of the face mask on because it was literally coming to the end so i thought i'd just use it all because it wouldn't make it wouldn't make a whole face again like it wouldn't make it wouldn't there wasn't enough to make a whole new use out of it but it was too much to finish it if that makes sense so i just thought i'd put it all on but then obviously it was taking ages to dry and then the more ages it was taking to dry the more my face uh, my, the more the purple shampoo was in my hair i think i had it in for like nearly an hour and then when i washed it out and i dried my hair i literally looked like an old lady like my hair it wasn't like silver like how it kind of is now it was literally gray like even the front bits of my hair were purple and I wore a grey jumper that day and it just, it literally like clashed like the colours. So it was very, it just wasn't a good day and I had to go to school and all my friends were mocking me the whole day because Ava said it looked like I'd done a box dye and then tried to use purple shampoo to um, fix it. Um, I'm just using the NARS Illuminator to make my skin glow. It honestly looked awful. So then when I got home, I literally washed my hair three times with shampoo to try and scrub it out and because he does fade over time it has faded a bit today so i'm gonna wash my hair again today oh my god and i oh basically i've never been more excited in my life so by the time like you're watching this i've already been but tomorrow i've actually been invited to the money may beauty works event i'm sorry can it, it's just a bit of a pinch me moment because i literally love molly may i mean who doesn't beauty works actually invited me so it wasn't from molly may herself I'd like to think that it was, but it wasn't, but still. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll actually get to meet her because of see there'll probably be a lot of people there. I don't know if Sydney May's going, so I'm actually like excited to see her. So I'm really excited just to see who's there and because I I'm not like although I know people, I don't I don't really like meet up with a lot of like YouTubers and that, so it'd be nice to just like see people. So yeah, they actually let me take Ava with me, which is really nice. So that is my outfit up there which is hanging. Um, I'm wearing the blue dress that Ava wore to mine in her joint birthday party. It's like uh, from Old Polly. It's a blue dress and it has like the ruffles and then it's kind of like a corset on the top. It's really hard to explain, but I'm wearing that with a leather blazer and then my, I have blue Comme de Garçons. Right, I say Comme de Garçons, yeah, but all my friends say Comme de Garçons. So I don't really know what to say, but then I have blue ones which literally match the dress perfectly. So that's what I'm wearing. I'm going tomorrow and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going in with the Dior coverage uh, concealer and I just put it under my eyes. Going up to create a lifting look on my spots. My skin's, it went really good and then it's like breaking out again. It's always when I wear foundation, it breaks out. And I wore foundation on the weekend because I went to a party, so that's why. Everything's just like working out recently. Like, um, if you know Chloe from Love Island, I was literally obsessed with her the day she went into the villa. And I literally loved her throughout the whole of Love Island. And I actually got to do a FaceTime call with her because she's on the same management as me. And she basically didn't really know how to use TikTok. So I basically helped her and taught her how to like use TikTok and do all the transitions. Now I like to say we're besties. I mean, we're not actually besties, but I just say we're besties, you know? It's exciting things have been happening recently. Okay, when that all blended in, I'm gonna use the... I actually have only a tester part of this, but I need to get the actual one because this is finishing. But it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna dab it under my eyes. Half term soon and I'm so excited because my auntie and my cousin Andre are actually flying over from Spain for the half term. So I'm really excited to see them because I haven't seen them since August. I mean, it's not that long away, but it feels ages. Um, so I can't wait. And I'm also going to Fort Park with Erin, Brandon and Holly. Oh, and then when I go back from half term, I have um, just assessments on each subject. I really can't be bothered for that. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the Refi Beauty product. Basically, it's actually so funny. It's actually a funny story. So I didn't know how to, like, I didn't know what order to use the products in. Like, do I use the gel first or after? And so I was on the Instagram of Refi and everyone was using this brush to like brush their eyebrows up. And I didn't understand where they were getting that from because I brought the eyebrow kit. So I had every eyebrow product. 
And I was like, what brush are they using? I don't get it. And then one day I just turned this yet and then I realised it was like almost disconnected from the lid. So what do I do? find out that the brush was here the whole time like, i was literally looking for the brush on all the products that was in there and i literally couldn't find it and it's been a life changer because it actually makes my eyebrows go into such a good shape because before it was so hard to use like a little brush for it but then now it just makes my eyebrows go into like, a better shape I, honestly i'm so stupid um and then i used to use the eyebrow pencil but when i'm in a rush in the morning i just use it's like pomade is that how you say it pomade so it's like this it's actually quite handy because it's on a little pot and then the brush was there so i dip it in and i literally just go like this over my eyebrows kind of following a shape but not even knowing if i'm actually filling it in following my eyebrow shape i made on like i used to... is it pomade or powder i think it's pomade i literally don't even like do my eyebrows properly i literally just chuck product on them to fill in the gaps okay now I love cream bronzers, so I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty one. And then this is the Refi brush, which is so good. It's like, I think it's like a stippling brush. I think that's what it's called. The only thing is with cream products, I feel like they don't last. Like, I feel like they come off, like, like you use it, and then by the end of the day, not even the end of the day, like after a few hours, it's just all melted off. Like, it literally doesn't stay to my face. Or, like, even, I always think the same with, like, I used to put, like, a tinted moisturiser on, like, or, like, a light foundation because I, I didn't want full coverage or, like, thick. I just wanted my makeup to look natural. And they always come off, so I just ended up, I just... That's why I only use concealer now because I literally don't think they work at all. I think they just come off. Yeah, I'm just... I don't even know. I don't really follow anything. I just kind of chuck it on and just go upwards with it. It was so weird. I posted a TikTok. Oh, yeah, with my nose. I don't even do nose contour. I just dab it on my nose. Make it bronzed. Why is it looking really shimmery? I think it's because I have this light on. So, it, it looks, it's a lot shimmerier. Like, more shimmier. Shimmery. Ah. Uh than it normally is because i'm actually seeing it in the, like, that light the ring light um oh yeah i posted a tiktok and it literally got like hardly any views to what i normally get and it was so random like even ava said it didn't come up on her like following or like her homepage or anything it literally it's so weird like i don't get it like it literally got like a quarter not even a quarter like hmm yeah, like under half the amount of views that I normally get. I don't know if like TikTok crashed that day or something. Um, I'm now using the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. I'm just dabbing it up. And then I always put it at the end of my nose for like that sunkiss kind of look. Even if it is autumn, I, I can do that. I feel like one day I would love to have my own makeup brand. I feel like that's just such a dream. And like, imagine if you've got like in Selfridges or like, um... All them cause type of like shops. That'd be sick. I'm just putting it out there into the universe. Hashtag manifestation. The university for hearing me. Help me make my dreams come true. I'm using I can never say this. It's touch a clap. Touch a clap. It's the YSL. Um it's like a glow stick thing. Like I use it as a highlighter, but my auntie uses it as like over the top of her concealer under her eyes. I feel like it's just glowing i feel like it's better than highlighter because it's not as like streak not streaky but it like it's not as in your face it just gives you more of a glow um but i always use my finger to dab it in so that i can actually follow where i put it because i feel like if it's a beauty blender i feel like it almost takes it off my makeup is so more natural than it used to be i still use a lot of contour because i like to have like a bronzed face honestly watching my old makeup tutorial it was honestly it's actually kind of hard to watch because I literally used to like cake my face with like foundation and concealer and powder and all of that. I'd put bronzer on but I'd blend it so much that it would literally just come off. Oh, there it is. I'm looking for my... I was looking for this the whole time I couldn't even find it. I'm trying to think of like things to talk about. Like how have I run out of things to talk about? I can, I can literally talk... I could talk for more than England. I could talk for... Oh, that just... Pull one of my eyelashes out. I could honestly talk for the whole the universe, mate. That's what like my teachers always used to like tell me off for talking. And they always used to like tell my mum and parents evening, like, oh, she talks too much. My mum's like, Yeah, I, I know. Because obviously my mum has to deal with me talking all the time. And they would always be like, I feel like we have to move her. My mum would literally always used to say to them, like, you can move her, but she'll talk to a stranger. Like, she doesn't like I honestly I could talk to anyone. Like so I could literally genuinely have a conversation with myself. Like I'm literally having a conversation with myself if you think about it because there's no one there, it's just a camera. Like I'm literally talking to a camera. Like I'm not even receiving anything back. Like I actually just realised that's actually so weird. Like, I'm actually having a conversation with you. Like you who's watching this, I'm literally having a conversation with you. I'm now using the mascara um better than 
boop if you know you know but yeah this is actually my favorite mascara ever i've actually used it for years so if you don't have it i really recommend it christmas list put it on there along with the pandora collection it just it makes you like even like every time ava puts it on i'm like have you got eyelash extensions on she's like no it's just that mascara i'm like i know it's amazing like it just makes sure it like really brings out your lashes and like makes them look really dark and volumized if that makes sense because they're literally eyelashes but it does i used to put on my bottom lashes but i always used to find if i put on my bottom lashes it used to go all under my eye by the end of the day so i stopped putting on my bottom lashes and then on that's got like a side of their eye that just the mascara just always goes on better or like makeup in general because this side of my face just my makeup everything just goes so much better okay that's my mascara done i probably should have i decided that today i was going to put on um eyeliner under my eyes but obviously i was meant to do my mascara after that but i didn't so maybe i'll just miss it for today but like my makeup's gone quite good today. I mean, it is just normal. I'm just turning this down a bit. It's, just, it's it's natural, but it's, like, good because it's really quick and easy just to do. Like, yeah, I don't really use any, like, lip glosses or anything because, I don't know, they just come off and I don't really like them on my lips. So I just normally just put lip balm on. But yeah, I always then go and put setting spray on, so I'm going to go and grab that quickly. Okay, I've got two different ones. I normally switch between them each day. So this is the Morphe X Jeffree Star one, and this is the Max Fix Plus. This one's, like... I always use this if I don't know why but sometimes my makeup feels a bit cakey like, I don't know if it's like powder or anything so if it doesn't look really shimmery and it feels a bit like almost dry I always use this one um and then if the makeup's gone well I always use this one because it's just to keep it in place and I don't need my face any more shinier this one it's a, it's a strawberry scent and it's honestly so refreshing and smells delicious I have an hour still turning to leave so I'm probably just gonna sit on my bed and watch netflix i've been watching gilmore girls recently and i'm actually in love with it like i'm actually obsessed i literally have been binge watching it every single day all day every day it literally makes me late for school sometimes because i literally just sit and put it on my phone while i'm doing my makeup and then it takes me long to do my makeup because i find i'm just standing still watching netflix but it's obviously it's an old show but i only just discovered it from basically me and my mom tried to watch it ages ago and we watched like the first episode and we just never watched it again um so i've actually just started watching it but it's also from that tiktok sound um where everyone puts the challenge where they do that their mum um as their inspiration and then i was just like oh i'm just gonna watch it and then i actually really like it it's like one of them ones it's like easy just to put on um so yeah i also need to watch the new series you and um, because obviously they brought out the new season and i've watched all the other seasons and it looks really really good so i need to watch that um but thank you so much for watching um i hope you find inspiration in this makeup look i don't really know what i'm saying um also there's a link in the description below to go shop the pandora me new collection um so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you next time bye